Hey everyone, it's Mr. Reeds, and I just wanted to take a, a moment and share a quick video message with you. Instead of writing a message this week, we don't uh, get to see each other as much as there aren't any events that bring parents to the school right now or have administration supervising. So I thought I'd personalize it a little bit this week with a video message. So first of all, I want to say thank you to the Greater Burke Church community. Uh, you've done a wonderful job supporting us and supporting your students in a uh, successful return to school. And we are, uh, we're very thankful for that. It takes a massive collective effort in this and you are all part of that, so thank you. The second thing that I want to just uh, pass along is that we need to continue to follow Alberta Health Services guidelines and in some cases public health law in order for this to continue to be successful. Uh, we're doing that here at the school, we're doing our best to do that and uh, there could be conversations that our office staff has with you uh, if you call in or if one of your, children, uh, one of your students goes home with an illness. Uh, just a reminder, we are following Alberta Health Protocols. This is not something that we're making up at Burke Church High School, but rather trying to follow Alberta Health Protocols. And so uh, if you have any questions or we can help maybe uh, guide you to those protocols, but uh, the best thing to do if you're, if you're curious or have a question about that is to refer to Alberta Health Protocols. Um, further to that, Rocky View has many great resources on their website under uh, Return to Learning in Scenario 1. If you could, you could access those and that would help answer some of your questions as well. So it was just updated this past week with some new, new things that help guide us at the school. Um, so if you have questions or would like to know more about Rocky View's response to uh, in-person learning and returning to school, please feel free to visit the Rocky View website and spend some time there. Lastly, this was a message that we sent our students this morning. But uh, we have four key uh, public health measures that we're following here at the school. Hand hygiene, which includes sanitizing upon entering the school and your class, wiping down surfaces after using them, um, and washing your hands whenever possible. A reminder for everyone to be doing that, adults and students included. Uh, the second one is distancing where possible and uh, just reminding our students that six feet apart is social distancing and whenever it is possible to keep that distance to do so not only at school but outside of school um, the next one is the mask wearing and we're very grateful for the compliance our students have had with masks so far uh, they've been wonderful with that we're hopeful that that continues and we'll continue to educate and encourage kids to keep wearing those masks and lastly and probably the most important is if you're not feeling well if you didn't pass that daily health check please do not come to school. And that goes for the adults too. I have to do it in the morning. If I'm not feeling well, if I have worsening of symptoms or if, uh, if I'm experiencing symptoms that are on those, uh, on those lists that are provided to us, then I can't come to school. So uh, if we continue to do this collectively, we can continue to have success. We're very grateful for the start we've had thus far and are looking forward to the month of October. Have a great weekend.